What's up everybody? In this video I'll be making a tier list for all abilities in Garden Warfare 2. And just so you know, the, the abilities in the tier list aren't in any particular order, so the ones m leftmost are not better or worse than the ones to the right. One, two, three. This is your good man, Brian Nelson from the Game Bazaar channel, the haven for finding all sorts of gaming content. Thank you all for stopping by, let's get rolling with this video. Okay, so here we have our tier list. Um, so we have uh, the D category, the C category, B, A, S, and then we have OP up here. So I'm not going to explain everything, and as I said earlier, it's not in any particular order. So um, first, we have the D category. Uh, so this here is long punt. It's just like really clunky and it doesn't really make any sense that it's not bad in terms of damage It just it doesn't really make any sense um, Then butter barrage. It's just not pinpoint focused enough. So um, it's just really like bigger better butter is just way better Turbo twister used to be really insane. It's quite good in battle for neighborville just it's damage is horrible. The only time I ever see it being worth it is against AI or against gnome bosses um, in the Trials of Gnomus so that you can escape. Um, Armored Heal Station is just pretty much the most horrible. If if I did have to put this in any order, this would def this these would be the worst. They don't heal. They should I've seen I've heard this from other people, but they should just do negative health. They're that bad, they should just minus your health. Like really. Super P jump. There's like two places in the entire game that this would be worth using it. Maybe like at Time Park, there's that little crevice that you can go on where you can like snipe, but pea shooters shouldn't be sniping anyway. It's pretty crappy. The future dummy, I've never used this. You only get one. It's not very good at protecting. And if you get killed by this, you're an absolute bomb. Anyway, artichoke drones. I don't really like the drones that much in general, but these guys' damage output is horrible. So, yeah, I think that's self-explanatory. Nugget mines, I don't see the point. Potato mines, they don't one-shot, there's no point of them. Chomp cannon, the reason goop is good is so you can swallow and attack people. I don't really see the point. The tall nuts, they don't really defend that well. They should just defend a lot better. Um, so the C category, I'm going to go over all these real quick, but for the higher categories, maybe OP, I'll go over them. But the higher categories, I'll just go over some select ones. Um, so Dark Beam Bomb, you can use two of them. They're good, but usually they just end up doing one damage because their explosion radius isn't that much. Then we have Sprint Burrow. Yeah, just, no, there's no point using that. Multi-Rocket and Multi-Shuck. Yeah, they, I mean, yes, you can hit multiple t targets. I, a I hear a lot of people argue that, but I, I still don't really see the point. It's not that good. The super guided ball is just super slow, and I don't really see the point either. Um, uh, let's see, the dummy decoy, I believe, is what that call what what that is called. Just the health on that is not worth the extra amount. The pylon imp, I don't know. I don't really like that guy. He's not necessarily bad. He's just not really my type of guy. Spike weed, yeah. The spike weed is not really even. I'm not a big fan of the spike weed in general, and if I want to use a spike weed, I'd rather use it for damage, and then therefore I'd rather use the uh, spiky spike weed. Um, sorry about that uh, text right there. Um, then we got the rocket jump, rocket sprint, or whatever it's called, is just way better, so I don't really see the point. The sonic mine, yeah, it's just like a potato mine. You're not gonna, if you're an engineer and you want to clear out. If you're going to put it at an objective or something where a bunch of your teammates are, maybe it'd be good, but yeah. Um, Psychedelic Goat, I think it has a longer recharge time, and it's not really that different than the normal goat, and I don't really see it. I haven't really used it, or I haven't really seen anyone use it at all, so I don't really think it's that good. Um, so then here at the B tier, we have um, the Stink Cloud is really good at the objectives. Arcane Enigma. It's a good ability, but the recharge time is super long, and it's a damage. It's pretty laughable. Um, we have the heal beams here. We have the uh, sprint tackle, impkata, the turbo jackhammer, the drones. Um, and then here we have an ability that never was actually introduced in the game. It's pretty much, if you've ever played Battlefront 2, it's pretty much just um, 
Chewbacca's ground slam. So it's just, it's like the sprint tackle, but instead of having more horizontal movement, it smashes down the ground and hits multiple enemies. So I just put it with a sprint tackle because I've seen um, hacked footage of it. Um, so then here we have the multi balls are not that great. Time snare. Throw out kick is like the only reason the um, super brains is good because it's so slow. Without the heroic kick, I couldn't even use the super brains because they're speed. The retro gatling, not really a fan. Haven't really used it that much either. But um, then here we have the shrimp mech. We have the spiky spike lead. And then for some reason on here, we don't have that many imp abilities. But for some reason, we have the, um, oh, what is that? The Z7 imp mech. So for some reason, we have those abilities here. The sword is good, and the pull are both good. Just both remind me of like Kylo Ren and Battlefront, but they're still not really that powerful. So yeah. Um, here we have the healing things. Uh, we have those abilities, which are really powerful. I just put the sunbeam down here because, I mean, the sunflower is a healer, and sunbeam isn't used as often. We have the um, dark flower, not really used it but i know it's good um we have the shock shot not as accurate as the zpg that's for sure we have the energy warp the arcane lotus which i think is better because you can heal your teammates and heal yourself which i honestly think is a lot better than doing that horrible amount of damage you can deal anyway we have the um z7 mech here we have the uh, pirate imp whatever uh mech abilities here the our garlic drone Energy warp is pretty good, just um, not as good as a normal warp, I'd say. It takes too long. But I think one of my favorite abilities on this whole A tier is the Super Stink Cloud. Um, it's more like the Stink Cloud in uh, Battle for Neighborville. It's a lot more powerful, I'd say. Um, it's not as good for like turf takeover, but it's definitely better for modes like Gnome Bomb, where there's a smaller objective. Okay, so now the S category. Um, my good man Johnny here, uh, Johnny's whatever. Uh, these guys, pretty good. Um, we have most of the turreted abilities. The uh, tubular twister is amazing for gnome bomb. Um, solar flare. I, I I haven't even used this. I just hear a bunch of people say it's better, so I just put it here. Uh, this mech, cause it's insane at close range. I don't. This mech is just awesome. I love it. Um, then we have some of the engineer abilities. Barrel blast, one of my favorites, and goop pretty obvious it's pretty insane and twilight warp i think is better than burrow because i don't know i just think it is i have more fun with it i think it is a better method of escape quicker and stuff um but i think my overall favorite ability on here is uh hmm, that's a tough one i i really like the Torchwood as a whole, and I really think the Smoldering Madness is one of the better buffing abilities. I like how it puts people on fire and makes you faster and stuff, so, but I think my overall favorite ability here is the Barrel Blast. It's just super um, satisfying when you blow up some people inside of the barrel. I don't know why, it's just that people lean into it. So then here we have the OP category. These are pretty self-explanatory. Here we have the Sticky Goop. I know a lot of people say the Sticky Goop is underused. That's why they don't put it up here. But I would say the Sticky Goop is up here because it completely immobilizes. The Leaf Shield just tanks anything. It's just, I think this, if I had to rate the most OP, it'd probably be this. Um, Husk Cop, yeah, that's just one shot. It's better than Neighborville because in Neighborville, it takes forever for them to do damage against them. Colonel Corn is just so underpowered in that game, I feel. I mean, if you get the Shogun Guard, it's okay. But um, So then we have the Blazing Blast, another one shot type thing. The normal Z Mech, just better at all ranges, I'd say. And then the gravity grenade is just super annoying. Pretty self-explanatory. If you put a, uh, what's it called, um, explosive escape and a gravity grenade, they're dead. Um, hyper, yeah, it just makes them impossible to hit. It makes all sorts of junk. And here we have the EM Peach, which mostly the only reason it's above Sonic Grenade is it does a bit more damage. I think it might have a longer cooldown time but hardly anyone uses Engineer, and Citron is way more common, so I think overall I would say that that's a, the better ability. So thank you guys for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my other Garden Warfare 2 videos and Battle for Neighborville videos that I'll be posting really soon here. Um, 
I also have some Star Wars Battlefront 2 videos, Final Fantasy videos, I have some Lost Fallout videos as well. So if you enjoy any of those games, make sure to stop by the Game Bazaar. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. You're a type, tall, dark, and dead. You wanna bite all the petals off of my head. And then eat the brains of the one who planted me here. No! I'm just a sunflower, but you need power and entire infantry. You like the taste of brains, we don't like zombies. I use